In Part D of the exercise, we model the possibility that an inspected part may be defective or not. After a part has been released by the resource, we add a block to separate the flow into two streams, the flow of defective parts, and the flow of good quality parts, T parts. We add this block after the count instruction, first we count how many pieces are inspected, and then we separate the flow of entities. This block is called branch. You find it in the blocks library. One entity enters into a branch block. More than one entities may leave from the branch block. The number of entities that can exit from the branch is limited by the parameter, maximum number of branches. Each branch is the way out for an entity. In the branch type, we define the logic of the instruction. Click on Add. Here, we introduce a condition. If this condition is true when an entity enters the branch, then the entity leaves the block from this branch. There are several possibilities for a branch. The condition if, for using a logical rule. The condition with, for using a probability rule. The condition else is used in combination with a previously defined branch condition. The condition always, if we want this branch always valid, is valid. We use the condition with, and input the value 0.05, which corresponds to the probability of a part being defective. A second condition is necessary for the good parts. We use the else condition for this second branch. Let us also write a comment for this block. Look at the branch instruction. There are two connectors as output. We use one to connect the branch with the tally block. In this way, we are modeling the flow of good parts. Be careful to select the right connector. The defective parts need a remanufacturing. To model this, we add a delay block, with a stochastic time uniformly distributed between 5 and 15. We add a new counter to collect the number of remanufactured parts during the simulation. Mulation. After the remanufacturing, parts must be inspected again. We connect the count block with the queue. In this way, parts are introduced into the input buffer of the machine. Run the experiment. 